coming up on today's episode. Ah, good morning, YouTube. Here with you at the uh, computer once more. I thought I would share uh, something happened yesterday, and um, I, I don't know how many really know this much that much about what we're doing, but we're coming up with a new project for our business, and I wanted a case for it, and uh, I wanted a certain type of case. I uh, basically wanted something with. Uh, rounded corners and I wanted it fully rounded I didn't want it just rounded on one side or you know anything else I, I wanted it fully rounded and so I as I often do I, I went online and did a search for just that I put a in rec rectangular box with rounded corners and and there were several that came up but nothing struck my fancy as far as you know what I was really trying to achieve and so I thought well you know there's always Tinkercad and you know I guess I could attempt to uh, come up with something and uh, so I got to looking at things like this and I thought well you know the rounded corner of the sphere here I'll drag this over here is is a good start starting place I, I believe because that would be the perfect rounded corner I mean no matter which way you look at it it's it's round right so um, I thought well okay but you've got to have four corners so you know um, I thought well maybe I'll start with two and like that and then you have to come up with some dimensions and I, I thought I wanted the case uh, to be basically 150 by 80 and I, I wasn't sure about the uh, tallness or the width, width of it or thickness or whatever you want to call it uh, but these are 20 these always start out at 20 if you can look at that you'll see 20 20 it's 20 this way 20 that way 20 every which way uh, that's that's just a perfect round sphere so uh, the all the uh, little uh, things that you drag over here are always 20 uh, on on that and there's 20 there you go there's 20 this way uh, there you go and so now I thought well now this one's perfectly a cylinder this round and these are round ends so if if this cylinder here was turned over on its side and put between here and placed in a, in a way where it was halfway uh, across here and halfway across here then I would have what I was looking for, I think. So, um, <laughs> using a little math in my head, uh, these are 20 uh, millimeters across. Uh, so, if, whatever I design the box to be, if I take that half of that on each end, and because that's where I want my cylinder to come through here, is halfway through to line up, then. Uh, it's going to be basically 20 millimeters less than what I overall design so if my my total design is going to be 150 millimeters then this let's turn this over first get it in the right position and we can see that first thing you always want to do when you turn something over like that is to make sure sometimes it doesn't come out to be right on on flat on the board so I want to make sure it is and that one is it is right on the board let's get these balls out of the way here just temporarily now in order for this remember these balls are, are 20 millimeters so that means half of those would be 10 on each end so that's 20 millimeters there that uh, we don't need um, so our 20 millimeters that we do need if you want to call it that way but uh, so if we make this one 130 millimeters 130 okay keep in mind everything else is the same now let's move it down here out of the way um, 
Then we have basically, uh, if we add our ends to it, which are the balls here, and we'll do this one at a time. We'll add this one first, and we'll put it in the middle. And you can basically drag it over here. Um, the way I did it was to just drag it over. Um, I'm going to drag the cylinder over to that. And as you can see, when it gets to a certain point, let's drag this over here so we can see it a little better. Uh, you get You get a perfectly rounded end on it. And so now you have a perfectly rounded end and a perfectly positioned um, sphere on the end of it. So if you do the same thing on the other end, then that should be uh, basically what you're looking for. So let's drag this over here. We'll just put it right there, kind of, and make sure it looks to be in the, in the right position. now. Uh, I don't know if that is right. Can't see it good enough to do. But but what well, one thing we can do is select the whole thing and then get a measurement. And if we look at the measurement, it's 149. It's really close. Um, and if you look at the difference, I think the difference is this one needs to go down just a little bit more, one one millimeter more. We're going to put that one millimeter over that way, and that gives us. 150 millimeters I do believe and it does there you go so that it was just that easy to do and now to make sure everything is lined up we're going to select the whole thing and make sure it is and you can see all three dots are grayed out so it is in perfectly in line and that's exactly what we want so let's select that and let's uh, make that a hole and there you go. Now there's your, there's the top edge. We'll just call it the top edge of your uh, box. And you can see just basically a, a round, perfect round, perfectly round cylinder with perfectly round ends. And that's exactly what we want. So uh, obviously the bottom is going to be exactly the same as the top. So let's just make a copy of that and move it down here. Now in order for the sides to be equally as round, well they're going to have to have a cylinder like that as well. And we could use the same exact measurements, uh, well not the same exact measurements, but the similar uh, uh, knowledge of the the length of it and things like that to do this. And so let's let's turn this over uh, 90 degrees and there you go. Now we can do the same thing with this that we did with the uh, other one. We want the uh, the tallness or height or whatever you want to call the box to be uh, 80 millimeters. So we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to we're going to minus 20 off of that. So that's 60. So let's put at 60. If I can get back a little bit out of the way here. There you go. 60. And we'll put this in between here. Let's line these two up first. And I don't know if they aren't lined up. They may be lined up. Make sure they are. Yeah, they're not quite lined up. There we go. Now they are. So we'll put that in there. And if we take this and move it here. Now, if we split the same thing and we do exactly the same way we did the other one, now in order to do that, it's a little more difficult. Not impossible, but a little more difficult. Uh, you can see it doesn't doesn't match up very good right there. Let's see. I'm just gonna. I know it's not in the middle, but we're gonna see what our total length is. 83. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. So um, to get it right. We want to get these equal, number one. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. So you can see they're not equal. You can see how much of the uh, yellow is showing here and how much of it's showing here. It's not the same. So let's look at our, our alignment here. Um, let's try this. Let's go here, select that. 
and line it up on the end. How's, how's that? Let's, that should work. There we go. Now we got it. Now it's in there like it should be. And uh, we can move it around like we want it. And let's select this again and find out what our height is now. 83 still. Okay, we haven't moved anything. That's good. So what I'm going to do is basically take this one, and I know it's it's aligned uh, with the other end, and so we're just going to move it down. You see there there you, there's your little telltale alignment dots, and let's move one more to see if that makes any difference. I don't think it does. I think it needs to be back right there. And we can do the same thing with this one. Move it over until we get that same you see there's that same pitch so that's pretty much a half and a half thing now if we look at this overall again 80 80 right on the money so I think <laughs> I think that's pretty darn close don't you um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this and if I can select it copy that and put it the other end and we'll drag it down there and get that lined up now I'm not going to do that at once I'm going to do that I'm going to leave that like well I'm actually going to take it off here just I don't want to get it lined up in that so we're going to take and make this one hole here there you go now it's whole now we're going to line up our, our last one here and make sure do the, exactly the same thing with this one we did the other end we'll make this even uh, with that end and you can see it is and then we'll take in basically this is just a matter of moving it one way or the other to get it lined up there you go right there one click lined it up so there you go. That's that's going to get us right exactly where we want to be. Uh, obviously, if the other end's 80 millimeters, this end's going to be 80 millimeters as well, and you can see it is. So what we want to do basically is select all this and make it whole. Now at some point this is going to turn colors. So I don't help now say that that usually is what happens. Um, <laughs> so there you go that's that's what that's how you get that part of it uh, so you've got your rounded edges and so the next part is filling all this in with something and to do that we're going to use a, a normal box uh, we know our inside uh, halfway to the thing here is when it's going to be flat is going to be uh, 20, 20 millimeters less in each way in other words it's this is 150 millimeters. That box is going to be 130 millimeters. Uh, if I could select it and do it right instead of messing it up. 130. And the other way it's going to be 60. Uh, Sixty. So now this is where you can get easier. In order to get this lined up, all you have to do is basically select these two here and line them up. You line them up center there and line them up center there. And voila, we have it. There is our box. And we will select it. Make it whole. There you go. There is a exactly what we're looking for now the problem is it is not as big as I want it to be uh, it is the correct dimension lengthwise and height wise but the thickness of it is only 20 millimeters and I want I believe 40 millimeters is what I was looking for let's try that see just change it and see and I think this is gonna work out just fine for us if we do it this way and there you go 40 millimeters just like that and there's your box with rounded corners and rounded ends and it's just that simple to do now uh, 
okay, you're saying okay, but yet now you've got a solid object that's um, this this size, and you're you're right about that. But the thing is, the, the way you make it a hollow object is to take and copy this and make a copy of that, which we'll do. And then we'll move our copy up here out of the way. Move our, let's, let's get them down here so we can see both of them. So now one of them needs to be made into a transparency, uh, whatever you want to call that. Let's, uh, let's do that. So there you go. We're going to make that fit inside here and make it hollow. So <laughs> what we have to obviously have to do is we have to figure what size we want our walls to be and then decrease our, our ends and, and our tops and our every, every direction by whatever the millimeters need to be. In other words, uh, we're going to want our, millimeter, our uh, wall thickness to be two millimeters all around. Height wise, I want it top and bottom two millimeters. I want everything two millimeters. So, think about it. You have to reduce this every direction by four millimeters to do that. So, let's do that. So, 80 minus uh, 4 is 76. Okay. 50 minus 4 is 146. 146. And we can't forget about the height also. Minus 4, that is 36. 36. Now, we have it reduced where we want it. Now, the way we get it to do what we want it to do is put it exactly in the middle all dimensions, in other words, lengthwise, uh, heightwise, and thicknesswise. So what we're going to do is combine these two very simply. Put it in the center, in the center, and we'll put it in the center heightwise too. So now that puts that transparency right in the middle of our little project there. Okay. So when we go and select this all and we join it, group it, whatever you want to call it. When this comes out the other side it will have a hollow uh, opening. Now, <laughs> okay, we want our, our box to be have a top and a bottom. So basically what we have to do is take and, and take uh, another copy of this. Let's make a copy of that because we're gonna, it's gonna have to do, in fact we're gonna have to do it again, but we'll, sh we'll show you that in just a second. Now, in order, I, I want my, um, I'm gonna say 10 millimeters uh, on our uh, size. So, our, our outer dimensions are still 150 by 80, so we can make that as it should be, and, but we want this time our height to be um, height to be ten millimeters. Okay, there you go. Now what we're going to do is combine these two, and we're going to center them just like we have been doing. And now if we if we do it like it is, you can see it's on the bottom, it's going to remove the bottom. We want to remove the top though, so let's put it on the top. There you go. How's that? Looks pretty good. Let's try a, a combining or grouping of that. See what happens. <laughs> well, what do you know, Joe? It is hollow in there. Looky there. That is nice. Now that is what we wanted, right? Now, as we can see, that's 30 there. So what we want, our, our uh, total height is 40. So we want basically a 10 uh, millimeter height for our back here of the box. 
So in order to do that, let's move this off to the side because that's a good one. We want to that's a keeper. And let's move this down and do our 30 millimeter. Same thing, uh, 150 millimeters width and our height is going to be 80 and this time instead of taking off 10 we're going to add 10 so it's 30 and also this time we're going to instead of making it we're going to combine these two again or align them I should say we'll do our middle first and there's our middle for that one and now you can see that's going to leave us a 10 millimeters at the top when we combine these two and let's do that how about that there we go now I'm going to make change the colors a little bit on this we're going to make this white. We're going to make this to a nice teal color. Uh, I think that's it. There you go. So now, there you go. There's your top and your bottom, or sides, as you as it were, because we're going to set this up here. We're going to move this over here like this first. And we'll go ahead and make it aligned like it's supposed to be. Now it's perfectly in line and we're going to select both of them and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Set it up on its end here. Take a look at it. Now again, like I always said before, first thing you want to do is line this up. You can see that much of it sticking down below. So what we want to do is again select both and draw them up until we're even with the plane or the uh, build plate right there so there you go that's that now we can take in um, let's separate our back here from it a little bit and you can see there you go that's the case that's exactly what I was looking for that is a perfectly rounded case and it is going to be ideal for our project I do believe and if it ain't it should be <laughs> so there you go there's a quick quick a really quick demonstration on how I came up with this box design and it's not that hard to do people um, anybody can do it as they say uh, I'm gonna take it and rotate this 180 and just because I want to there you go and we'll move it all over here in the center of our there you go so there you are. Um, now obviously it's not done. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot more work with it, but uh, that is what I wanted. I wanted a rounded box and I wanted the um, colors to be just exactly as they are. So uh, I got exactly what I wanted and it didn't take long as you can see. Um, believe it or not, I that was pretty much the exact uh, process I used when I came up with the original box was to do it exactly what I did because it just made sense in my mind to use the spheres and the cylinders in such a way as to make the outside of the box and then the inside of the box could just be square or rectangular and as long as everything fit and it really it was easy to combine by leaving the uh, ball and, and cylinder as as they were originally 20 millimeters uh, like I said all around and that way you you start off with equal height of everything and then once you get it the way you want it you can always increase it or decrease it as far as the thickness that goes and you still can end up with a nice rounded box and I think it I think it just worked out perfectly so hope you agree and I hope this lesson this lesson <laughs> this is not really a lesson I'm not a teacher but I hope this little demonstration ba makes it fairly clear how easy it is to come up with designs in Tinkercad. I mean, uh, come on, people. This is, 
this is generally uh, you're working with blocks here and that's exactly what I did and how I created that box and like I said I think it's perfect in every way so hope you've enjoyed this you guys have a good one and we'll talk to you later Thank you.